Hey guys, my name is Dee. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this stream overlay that I created specifically for Blender 2.8 EV. So I use it with um, my big vertical face cam, but you can use it by itself and it'll look nice. Um, if you do not have Photoshop or PowerPoint, then go ahead and grab this basic PNG. Um, but what I really want you to do is get the PowerPoint because um, you probably didn't think of PowerPoint as a very great uh, stream overlay design tool, but it can be. So um, hopefully you can join me in this step and get this file and um, I'm gonna customize a couple things and show you how to export it as a transparent background PNG. So um, in, the in the download, there's gonna be a couple items. There's gonna be the actual PowerPoint and then there's gonna be a, um, these PNG guides. So um, I'll show you the guides in OBS. But anyway, so once you're in PowerPoint, uh, make sure you downloaded that Roboto condenser. It's gonna look not good. Um, you can change, you know, the text to what it says or the colors. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make that black just for this example. And to save these, you just select everything, right click on a Mac, save as picture. So this is going on my desktop as picture one and I also have um, the original like PNG download with the other colors. So this is just a preview of what we just saved out of PowerPoint. So it is just a little size graphic, um, but this is the original download and the guides. So go ahead and lock those guides and drag that into place. Um, you don't have to do this this way, but this is how mine is set up. Um, you can change the name of the scene, which I recommend. Uh, then you can go, go ahead, add your first text source. And again, with the naming, um, I like to name everything so I don't get confused. Um, and I'm gonna use Roboto, just the, not condensed Roboto, bold for this. And read from file. So this will be total follower count. Um, and I put a goal in there, the over. Then actually, so you can add your custom colors to this, um, to OBS and just, it saves in there like a little palette for you, which PowerPoint does also. And now I'm gonna add my second uh, text source and title it appropriately. Recent follow follower recent. Um, and this one I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use Roboto Condensed and keep it white. And just make it a little smaller, differentiate. Read from file, most recent follower. Mm -hmm. Wiener Hammer. So go ahead and grab him and drag him and then um, you know you can use your little arrow keys uh, before everything is grouped but I do like making oh and then you know hide the guides but I like making groups um, for the text so you can you don't have much room in all those layers so it's, it's kind of good to like consolidate things I would suggest you do that and then, you know, you can hide everything together. So, pretty awesome. Um, if you wanted to download my other, some of my other overlays, I keep everything kind of on the same grid. And so, like, you could switch scenes and just add potentially your same 
camera, your same video input, because it would be the same size. So um, again, with naming, it's helpful down the line. But um, if you need to have a Photoshop file, then there's a Photoshop download available. But you know, I think you can do it in PowerPoint. The way that I got these colors was I actually just like took screenshots of um, my screen and just brought them into Photoshop and just eye dropped it. So it should look pretty good. It, it I think it matches pretty well on screen and um, is relatively complimentary. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have fun blending on Twitch.